Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about one of the most affordable yet really interesting uh, 4040p gaming monitor and this might be something for you guys that will catch your eye because the specifications are outstanding and the price is really nice when we're talking about all the specifications. Now today we're going to talk about AOC Aegon AG273QXP and wow what specifications we have here. So Let's start right from the beginning to tell you everything that it has. So it's 27 inch nano IPS with 1440p resolution, it has one millisecond response time and 170 hertz refresh rate. We're talking about monitor that is NVIDIA G-Sync and AMD FreeSync compatible. We have HDR 400, this amount 75 times 75 and uh, all the other details which we will get to quite soon. So. It's quite interesting to check out this, particularly this gaming monitor, because at the price at uh, somewhere around 400, 450 euros, you get an outstanding monitor in a price range that is a golden middle, I would say, with 27 inch and 1440p resolution. It's not too big, yet it has an incredible resolution. But uh, apart from that, we have something that is quite outstanding when we're talking about colors and right from the box you don't need to modify anything as you can see from the close-ups the colors are quite insane and this is just because of the nano IPS panel which is somewhat more advanced model than the IPS uh, standard panel behind every other monitor that we tested so far not to mention VATN and everything else but one millisecond response time then we have some other cool features now first of all i would like to say that it doesn't have speakers and this is where they cut the price because after all i always say that the speakers on the monitors are really bad in general so i would suggest always going with a dedicated speakers that will give you much more enjoyment in the sound while watching movies episodes uh, or just general gaming now the cool thing it has these kind of levers on both sides and this is a cool thing because usually you get levers on one side or well, not levers hangers this will give you an opportunity to place your headset on the side that is more convenient for you so if you have a build on the right side you're going to place them on the left and vice versa so it gives you some sort of a option to choose from you have a monitor hood that you place uh, around the borders and this will give you somewhat a protection from I don't know some outer uh, lights if you don't play in the dark which is quite nice and it really does block outer lights so you can game normally without any reflections coming from the outer lights for instance I don't know if you have saltbox or your stream game or whatever similar to that now at the back we have something really cool and this is just uh, for the visual aspect we have an RGB circle at the back which does look cool and you can adjust the lights but to be clear it doesn't create any effect on the wall behind you because the LEDs aren't that strong but apart from the other monitors that are tested it actually does look really cool it doesn't have any uh, dims or uh, fade outs in the RGB uh, line but it does look really nice even though it's at the back so always the menu it's the same thing, almost the same thing as on the more expensive AOC Aegon Pro models, but it's really straightforward. You have a couple of main menus and well, the cool thing about everything is you can really access everything quite quickly. But the main thing and what they did is they place a joystick in the middle uh, where you turn on and off your monitor and also you can navigate through the OSD menu with ease giving you less hassle to uh, I don't know choose the options set your colors and everything else but since I mentioned the uh, nano IPS panel we have much better colors than on standard IPS and this is much better color range than on standard IPS panel. Adobe RGB is 98%, NTSC 94% and sRGB 133%. The brightness on this one is 400 nits, which is outstanding. And as I already stated in my past review video, uh, everything above 300 is really great. The cool thing when you place it on 170 Hertz, it doesn't lose brightness. So 400 nits of brightness, as you can see, I played on uh, 90% of the brightness and it's really nice. 
Talking about the display and some other information, we have a 3H display hardness, HDR400, NVIDIA G-Sync and AMD FreeSync compatible, then ports. Uh, you have two display ports, 1.4 and two HDMI 2.0, uh, 3.5 mm jack for your headset or if you decide to connect your speakers, that's also an option and two USB 3.2 generation one. In the box you get an HDMI and DisplayPort cable, power cable and the monitor hood that I already shown you. The modularity, let's put it that way, the modularity of the monitor, what gives you possibility to move it up or down. You can rotate it, you can swivel it, you can rotate it and you can tilt it, which is quite nice. Now with the stand and if you decide to place it at the lowest point, from the table to the bottom part of the monitor is 9.2 centimeters and if you decide to place it to the maximum it goes up to 20.2 centimeters. But this information is basically for you guys that have smaller space for your monitor and your PC so there's that. Now AOC aimed even though it's compatible for PS5 and everything else and stuff like that but I would definitely recommend this monitor for PC gaming and this is actually what it's intended for. I mean 170 Hertz, 1440p, 1 millisecond response time, there's actually nothing else to say. The viewing angles are really insane, 178 degrees on uh, horizontal and vertical which really does show perfect viewing angles and I mean if you're gaming you're watching it straight front but that's it. No bleeding, no problems with that, darks are darks and you can actually see in uh, Tomb Raider uh, when I played in that tomb that uh, I didn't have any issues like on some monitors where you go into a dark area in the game and you can't see a thing. So this was really cool and really showed proper colors and uh, you could actually notice everything in the game. It has a really sturdy stand coming into two pieces, the bottom part and the back side, which hold the monitor really steady and it's not even that big, I would say. But it looks really nice and not that aggressive as we're used to on some other monitors. So it's really nice altogether, I would say quite nice catch for the price and that's why I stated right at the beginning that this might be quite interesting for some of you guys that are looking for a 27 inch 1440p at a normal price, which is wow. So I will say it again, 27 inch 1440p nano IPS, one millisecond response time and 170 hertz refresh rate. You have loads of connections, you have USB ports, you have 3.5 millimeter jack and quite nice thin bezels on the side with a joystick at the bottom to control everything in the OSD. Hangers for your headset on both sides, you could choose which side you want to go or where you have more space and the monitor hood that really blocks out the light but you've seen that on other monitors as well but this one is just quite normal. Just want to say some additional feature to it. I'm quite satisfied especially with the point that you take it out of the box and you don't have to adjust anything. The colors are insane and that's it. So guys, placing the links for the AOC Aegon AG273QXP 27 inch gaming monitor in the description below so you can check out the prices if something might have changed since I recorded this video. And that's all there is to it. So thank you for watching today's video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe of course to catch new videos, new reviews and other stuff that I do here. So thanks, see you next time guys, bye bye.